Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com. I've taught tens of thousands of people how to trade options, and I'm excited to have you here so I can help you learn how to trade options as well. We're here to talk about the options Greek known as Vega. Stay till the end of the video. You're going to gain a really clear and concise understanding of what Vega is and how it affects the option premium, and you're going to learn how to identify it. Now, by now, you're getting used to this, and if you haven't downloaded the Tackle Trading Options Greeks guide, make sure you click on the link here to download that guide because those five variables that go into the Black Shoals Options pricing model are absolutely essential to understand. And of course, we're here to focus on Vega V for Vega, V for volatility. And what Vega is, is Vega is the, is the sensitivity of the option premium to a change of 1% in the underlying assets implied volatility. Now volatility measures the rate of change in price moves up and down and it can be based on recent changes in price, historical price changes, and or even expected price moves in a trading instrument. Now again, I'll repeat this. Vega measures the theoretical price change of the option premium for each percentage point move in implied volatility. And again, implied volatility estimates, estimates an underlying assets projected or future volatility. Now, if we look at an example here where we have an option premium of $3, let's say it's for an April $50 call option and that has a Vega on that particular call option of 0.20. And what that would mean is that that option premium would change approximately 20 cents for an increase or a decrease of 1% in the implied volatility of the underlying asset. So if we saw a 1% increase in the underlying implied volatility, the premium would go up to 320. If we saw a 1% decrease in the underlying assets implied volatility, we'd see the premium drop 20 cents down to 280. Now here we're looking at an options chain and we're looking at an options chain for those April options here and we're looking at Microsoft. Now you can see the Vega column here and you can see that at the 110 and 115 strike prices that the Vega is 0.29. Now that means if the implied volatility went up 1%, those option premiums where you can see the bid ask prices in there, those option premiums would go up 29 cents. If the implied volatility fell 1%, those option premiums would go down about 29 cents. And the same is true for the put. You can look over here on the Vega and you can see that they also have the Vega at 0.29. So for a 1% increase in implied volatility, you'd see the premium go up. You can see those bid and ask prices in there. You can see that go up 29 cents. For a 1% decrease, you'd see the implied volatility change uh, 1%. Then you'd see the option price go down 29 cents. So you can see that pretty obvious here. Works for us, makes it easy. Now, over here on the right, you can see that that's the current measure of implied volatility. It's at 26.05%. So again, if you saw that rise to 27.05%, that'd be a 1% increase. If you saw it fall down to 25.05%, that'd be a 1% decrease. Again, by now you're getting really used to how this black shoal model works. All the variables go in there. The vega for volatility, the theta for time, the gamma for velocity, rho for interest rates, the delta for the direction up and down of that stock price. All of that's getting pumped into that black shoals model and coupled with supply and demand pressures, the option value is determined. If you're enjoying these videos as much as I am, again, make sure you click like and share, and most importantly, subscribe so you can follow all of our videos over at TackleTrading.com and our YouTube channel. And to watch the next video in this awesome Option Greek series, click on this link here and you'll see us there.